What is up content creators? It's time again for another cool Premiere Pro tutorial. This time, I'll show you how to create this cool character introduction freeze frame effect to spice up your YouTube intros. So keep watching. Before we continue, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. Okay, so for this tutorial, we would need the main video clip which has a person or an object. You would also need a grunge banner or any rectangular shaped object with transparent background. I got this free video clip of a model at pexels.com. You can download free stock footage there so you can practice with your video editing. Then I got this free grunge banner at victz.com. They have tons of free vector art and photos that you can use for your projects. Now let's drag the main clip to the timeline. Then click on the playhead and scrub through the clip until we find the frame that we want to freeze. And I choose this frame. Now right click and select add frame hold. This will cut the clip into two parts. The left part is the video clip and the right part is the frozen frame. Click on this frozen frame, hold the alt key, then drag it all the way to the video layer 4 to duplicate it. We left out those two video layers because we will be adding something there later. Now make sure that the top clip is selected and then go to the effects controls panel and under the opacity section, click on this pen icon right here. We will use this to draw a mask around our subject. Let's zoom to 100% so we can see better. And then we can start drawing the mask around our subject. This could take a lot of practice so be patient and try it a few times. Make sure to carefully outline the subject. This will take some time, so I'll switch to time-lapse mode and go ahead and enjoy the background music while you wait. Okay, let's zoom back out. And then we go to Effects Controls Panel and set the Mask Feather to 0. Make sure that the top clip is selected, then in Effects Controls, position the playhead a little forward. Then we click on the stopwatch icons beside the position and scale to create keyframes. Then we select these two keyframes and drag it to the beginning of the clip. Then we drag the playhead forward and scale it up in the position to our liking. To make the animation play smoother, right click on both the end keyframes, go to Time Interpolation, and select Ease In. And we also do the same for the start keyframes, but this time, select Ease Out. Okay, let's play the clip and see what we have. Alright, looking good. Now it's time to modify the background. Select the background clip underneath, go to the Lumetri color, and drag the saturation all the way to zero. And we've just turned the background into black and white. Next, go to Effects Panel, and on the search box, type Gaussian Blur. And drag this effect to our background. Then under Effects Controls, let's set the blurriness amount to about 25, and check the box, Repeat Edge Pixels. Then we right-click on the clip on top, Select Nest, and click OK. We need to perform this step so we can add other effects to this clip that has a mask. We go back to Effects Panel, and search for Radial Shadow, and drag it over the clip above. Then go back to Effects Controls, change the shadow color to white, and set the opacity to 100. Now we can reposition the white shadow to our preference by adjusting the light source values here. And let's change the projection distance to about 5. Let's go back to our projects panel and drag this grunge banner above the bottom clip. Then we match the duration of the clip on top by dragging this to the right. 
Now that we have the Grunge banner placed behind our subject, we can scale and reposition it under Effects Controls panel. I will rotate it a little bit, resize it, and reposition to set the starting point. Then we click the stopwatch icons right here to add keyframes. Select both keyframes and drag them to the beginning of the clip. Then we click on the reset icons right here to add the end keyframes. Let's change the color of this grunge banner. Go to effects panel and search for change to color. Then drag this effect to our grunge banner. And then we go to effects controls panel. And right here where it says from, click the eyedropper tool and click on our gray banner on the screen. Then here where it says to, just click on the white box and select yellow. And lastly, under change, select hue, lightness, and saturation. And now our banner has turned into yellow. By the way, we can actually set it to any color that we want. I just chose yellow for this example. Let's play it and see what we got. Not bad, right? Comment down below if you learned something. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's add the ease out and ease in to the keyframes for a smoother animation. Let's have another look. Okay, that's much better. And before we continue, can you click on the like button below and make sure that you're subscribed to my channel for more tutorial videos like this. And for the last step, let's add some text. Click on the text icon right here and click on the grunge banner on the screen to place the cursor and start typing some text. Let's type my cool intro. On a side note, if you want to change the font and color of the text, just go to the essential graphics right here. Next, we drag the sides of the text layer to match the duration of the layers below it. Then we go to effects controls panel to reposition our text. I'll rotate it to match our yellow banner right here and also reposition it. Let's also add some keyframes to the text to have a bit of animation. Click on the stopwatch icon right here to create our end keyframes, then drag the playhead at the start of the clip, and then resize and reposition the text to create our start keyframes. And then we apply our ease in and ease out. Then we drag the text to that empty spot below, so it will go behind our subject. Alright, let's preview what we've done so far. Hmm, okay. I don't like the end result, so let me tweak this a little bit. Okay, I've made a few adjustments and this is what I came up with. Alright, that looks way better. Basically, you can do whatever you want with the text or banner. You can change their size and position. It's a matter of style and personal preference. As long as we were able to mask and cut out our subject from the background, the possibilities are endless. And for the final icing on the cake, go to Effects Panel and search for Dip to White Transition. Let's apply this transition between our moving and frozen clip. And then drag to shorten the duration. Let's have a look. I think it would look better if I place the transition at the start of the freeze frame. I'll also change the speed of the transition by double-clicking it and setting it to 20 frames. Let's play it. Okay, that's perfect. We can then render our project by going to Sequence, Render into Out. Pretty cool, right? 
Let me just add some personal touch. And play it in full screen. And this is the final intro sequence. There are multiple ways to recreate this effect, and this is just one of them. So try to check out other tutorials, practice, and find out which one works best for you. Okay, so let's recap what we've done to create this effect. Number one, select the frame in your video clip that you want to freeze. Number two, cut out the subject by masking it out. Number three, create a white outline around the subject. Number four, blur the background and turn it into black and white. And number five, add text in animations. That's it! All you gotta do is try it out and practice. Alright, so we've just covered another amazing Premiere Pro tutorial that you can apply to your videos to spice up your content. Remember, practice makes perfect. So never stop learning and always be creative. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching!